All things were made through him, and without him nothing was made that was made. NinjaPhoenix.com What can you do, Jesus? It's quite a brand new day, a good day indeed, a day that the Lord has made and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. We thank God and we return the glory unto the name of our living God. A night is a battle for us to be alive. It is because of God's mercy. There's nothing that is special about us. There's nothing that is unique about us. There's just a purpose now. Kojiri jintu jimbi chamu vambira mwami jesu. Okuli chintu china chamu konzera na mbu yesu chafu na kuti muchite. That is why you are alive. His messes are new every day and his messes endures forever. It does not matter what happened yesterday. What matters is the grace to live today according to his will, not according to our will. Amen. Which is why man does not live by bread alone. Omuntu taponi bo kuja kuli ejo chotu ibi de vaku dia vetima konza na manja. There's a special food. The Bible says, my sheep heareth my voice. Man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth from the mouth of the Lord. Every word that the word is spoken is spirit and life. Those are the words that are spoken by God himself. They become spirit and they become life. Whatever that is dead realizes life as at the touch of the word of God. And the beauty about God is that he's the same. He changes not. The Bible says he's the same yesterday, he's the same today, and he's the same forever. Mbuye susa chinja. Vintu vinga buwele vopusa na pa umoyo watu hintu inga bola. Hiyande ne different temptations, different situations. But one thing that God assures us is that they will go, but his word will remain. Meaning every situation can come and go, but God will always remain the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. And we thank God once more for his word and uh, through the son Jesus that he gave unto us as a gift to redeem us from all calamities. For, for, for the night comes as a battle like we always say, but in the mornings we receive the joy. And the joy is that we are more than conquerors by him who lives and dwells in us. Amen. Now the beauty about this word has been there. Before we were born, before the world was created, before heaven, before anything came to existence, his word was there. According to John, he says, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. He was in the beginning with God, and all things were made through him. And without him, nothing was made that was made. And in him was light. And the light was the life of men. And darkness could not comprehend the light of God. There's nothing that is more powerful. And there's nothing that can challenge God's word. It doesn't matter what condition. It could be sickness. It doesn't matter whatever trouble that you could find yourself in. Whether witches, whether demons, they can never go above the word of God. At the mention of the name Jesus, every demon trembles at that name and every knee bows and every tongue confesses indeed the word itself is sharper than a double-edged sword even amen. even penetrating to the deepest of the marrows amen. amen he sent forth his word and his word healed and delivered us from the distractions of the devils every time the word comes in thousands a word that is accompanied by the spirit of god is there to to destroy what is 
destroying you. Every time the word that is spoken that is accompanied by the Spirit of God. If this word that we are speaking today is accompanied by the Spirit of God, it is not just a story. It is there to come and bring harmony, to bring peace, and to bring healings in all manner of conditions that you are found in. Amen. By his stripes indeed we are healed. This very word was there before creation of the world and it shall live to stand the test of time. Heaven and earth shall pass away, as the scripture says, but his word shall stay forever and shall endure indeed forever. Amen. We just want to say thank you to all the prayers that you are offering. It's not by mighty or power or that maybe we are intelligent or clever than anyone else. We are nothing before the power of God or the mercies of God. And we just want to appreciate everyone, the way the family is growing. Every day, I know everyone that is listening right now, you are also praying for the program. I know it's not by our own power almighty, but by the Spirit of God. And may the Lord bless you, and may the Lord continue blessing the works of your hand. Wherever you are listening, or wherever you are watching us live on Facebook, May the Lord continue blessing and bringing favor upon everything that you are doing. Amen. So today we are winding up or concluding on part D. Mm. So this is part D1. <laughs> part D1. Oh, so yeah. <laughs> we are talking about from the past week, Tenzo Kamba Pali, understanding God's glory. Mm. Understanding God's glory. And uh, we have spoken, we come a long way. And if you are joining us for the first time, our prayer is that may you not remain behind. We are together. Nothing that you have missed, we are still together. Amen. Yes, understanding God's glory. We have come from part A. We are on part D now, D1. Amen. So we have key scriptures there. And yesterday we are looking at the types and the levels of glory. Vetna punzisana. Okapena mbo henda. And how we find it, how we can categorize it. Mm. Yes, but today we're just finishing with the other remaining uh, points, which is, I think, three of them. We spoke about four yesterday. So we'll go quickly to our key scriptures. These are the scriptures that we are referring to in our teaching. We are trying to understand the glory of God. Mm. Mm. What are we talking about? The glory of God is us at environment. In short, the presence of God, uh, you know, at that particular time, or what happens when God is present? How do you sense it? How can you tell to say God is now here? The presence of, you know, his kingdom is here. So we have key scriptures from Exodus chapter 33, verses 13 to 23. Exodus chapter 33 verses 13 to 23 the same book of exodus chapter 34 verses 5 to 12 exodus chapter 34 verses 5 to 12 we also have the same book of exodus chapter 19 verses 16 exodus 19 verses 16 psalms 49 verses 16 psalms 49 verses 16 the first book of samuel chapter 4 verses 21 first book of samuel chapter 4 verses 21 john chapter 17 verses 20 to 26 john chapter 17 verses 20 to 26 the book of uh, hebrews you can actually pick uh, chapter 1 i think we we found a lot of information there on the uh, the glory of god through jesus and uh, the book of habakkuk chapter 2 verses 14 habakkuk chapter 2 verses 14. Amen. So those are our key scriptures and we always give the objective of what is the main objectives? We have about four objectives and we always speak So the first objective the first one is being able to operate under the glory of God, which is the latter glory of the present temple. Because the Bible says there shall be another glory other than the glory that was in the past in the Old Testament. So now being able to operate under that glory, how do we operate? So we should be able to operate through this teaching by the help of God. The number two objective is getting more conscious of God's glory in our lives than Satan's 
you know, Grody. I, I, I don't know if we can also call it Grody. <laughs> presence. Oh, it's a presence, yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, so what we are trying to talk about, being conscious of God's Grody. Mm. You know, there are certain times when Ushita Nomvera kuti apa, a-a, kwati sisi ya imiri ilas, kulimu, vesi vili buino, na kamanta manta karimu, we know to say that is not God's presence. Mm. That is the devil that is trying to be present there. Mm. So there is what we call God's glory. We also need to be aware of his presence. When God is available, when his presence is there, we need to feel it also. So we need to be conscious about God's glory also. Not only this demonic presence whereby we can only hear the hair, the hair is standing. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> now the question is, when are you going to say, Mami Jesu, one this way, Masigu? So Amen. That is what we are looking for, to be more conscious of God's glory. Amen. Number four objective is being able to represent God in totality. Okay. Oh, number three, sorry. Yes. <laughs> okay, so I'm sure you, you, you change the three to four. <laughs> Amen. So number three is being able to represent God in totality. Or oh, not to go we, You know, the Bible says we are ambassadors. Amen. You know, an ambassador is somebody who represents a country. Mm. Yes. Ukaenda kwa America, uzapeza Zambia as ambassador. Ukabwela Zambia, uzapeza. That person is more like a president in that place Amen. because everyone looks upon him for anything related to that nation. And you have to be careful because everything you speak is like you are speaking for the country. Yes. So if you insult, it's like, you know, a country has insulted. <laughs> That's it. So now if we are ambassadors, if we are ambassadors from heaven, mm. we should be able to represent our God properly on earth. Mm. Picture yourself to be an ambassador. Just to represent Mazabuka. Mm. Now here we are talking about representing heaven. Amen. So we want to represent God in totality through this teaching as we are understanding the glory of God. Amen. Mm. So number the number three uh, point is to draw God's glory in our lives. So being uh, that is being in our homes, in our marriages, in our families, churches and societies. Mm. So what are we trying to do here? Even the way we live in our homes, there should be that difference, you know. There, there shouldn't be a difference because you are home and you are at church, you are somewhere else. There should be that, that difference. We should maintain the standard. Remember, the Bible says when the enemy comes in like a flood, there's, the Spirit of God shall raise a standard. There's always a standard that God has, has upon his people. So this standard should be there, should be seen in, in marriages, in homes, in what? This same glory, when it comes upon a, a family or a marriage, talk about what are, they are missing in the, in the marriage. Is it the fruit of the womb? Or is it that there's someone who's misbehaving within the family <coughs> that comes in as to be a solution? So we need to draw God's glory in our lives. How do we grow? Uh, draw this glory of God in our lives by living in tune to God's standards. That Amen. is part number three of uh, our objectives. Amen. So now, those are our objectives. And yesterday, the types of glory. And we started from above. And we, we laid out a foundation about them. We ended on uh, number four, where we are talking about the glory are of man. But we said our key scriptures that we are referring concerning Mapunzi Swaya is uh, Second Corinthians. Uh, we can look at that. It's um, Second Corinthians chapter 3 verses 18. Mm. Yes, Second Corinthians chapter 3 verses 18. Okay. Second Corinthians chapter 3 verses 8. Second Corinthians. This is where we are driving all oh, what we are teaching so in other ways, Titandizana, so that we may break this scripture in details. Amen. Second Corinthians chapter 3, verses this is 18. 18. Okay, the Bible reads, But we all, with unveiled face, beholding in the mirror the, the glory of the Lord, are, be, are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory, just as by the spirit of the lord amen amen so tinaka amba yesterday for for the writer for paul to put it like this to say from glory to glory it's like in my steps mm -hmm. yeah and from glory you are moved from one place to another 
We find also Solomon saying something in the book of Proverbs. He said, the path of a just is like a shining light. It shineth more and more and more Amen. until the perfect day. Mm. Now, what shines there is the glory of God. You shine more and more and more. But now we are told here to say, ya chinja, the glory of God changes until the perfect day of our Lord Jesus. Mm. Meaning there's a glory that we attain that is in the form of a father. It is more like uh, there's a light somewhere in front. Mm. But the light will be getting brighter and brighter as you reach it, as you approach mm. it, as you go step by step. Mongan pama steps, then kuso golo kuli light. So as you start your, your steps, pansi paja, you find that the light is not too very bright. But as you go on, ukwe la stairs, pangono pangono, uzafika kuti, as you are about to approach the light, as you are getting near to the light, even even its brightness becomes more brighter. Amen. So this is glory to glory that we are talking about. Amen. So now we are continuing. Yesterday we talked about the glory of the Father. We talked about the glory of Jesus. And we talked about the glory of Spirit and the glory of man. Amen. Mm. So now today we are starting with number five, which is the type and the form of glory, a level of glory. Now, this one is coming from the book of John. In fact, this is our theme chapter. Amen. John chapter 1, verses 1, we can read mm. up to 4. Okay. I think it is the in verse chapter. Now, get a revelation uh, behind this uh, scripture. John chapter 1, verses 1 to 4. Verses 1 to 4, is it? Mm-hmm. Okay. The Bible reads, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him nothing was made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men, and the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. Amen. That is verses 4. That's 5. That's verse 5. Okay. So 6. Okay. You want, you want me to scripture? You can read it. <laughs> you <laughs> we can, can read. pick it again. Eh? <laughs> okay. We can read again. Yeah. Verses 1, we read up to 4. Okay. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him nothing was made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the life there was the light of men. That is four. Yes, and okay. I think there's a Tima in Vela scripture. So Tima Kamba Chabe, that is a Bible that we quote when we are speaking Poyamba. It is John chapter one, verses one, going down. Tima Pereira pa five. Amen. Yes. So now what is this type of glory that we are looking at? Mm. The fifth type of glory. This is the word of glory. Amen. The word of glory. The word of glory. There's glory in the word of God. Mm. In other ways, have you ever asked yourself, because the Bible says in the beginning was the word and the word was with God. Now, have you ever pictured an image, how mm. it was? Mm. Or oh, you picture yourself. So when we are talking about the word of glory, it is another type of glory that we find in the word of God. Mm. And again, we refer to 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 18. Yes. In other ways, what John was trying to write here, by the inspiration of God, he was trying to say, in the beginning was the glory. Amen. Yes, in the beginning mm. was the glory. And the glory was with God. Amen. Because glory is what proceedeth out from God. Amen. In the beginning was glory. Because you, you, can, you, cannot, you, you cannot say... When God was there, there was a Bible, Pambay. That was the word that he was talking mm. about. Uh-uh. In the beginning was glory. The word. The word is the glory of God. And at the end of the day, that's why when the Bible says, 2 Corinthians, we can go to verses 3. Mm. So we are talking about the word of glory. It's another level of glory. The word of glo- There's glory that comes out of the word of God. There's glory that is emerged inside the word of God. Because that is God himself. That is Jesus that you are feeding Okay. Yes. Second, 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 second Corinthians, Corinthians chapter, chapter three, verse yes. 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 Okay. But we all, with unveiled face, beholding, as in a mirror, the glory of the Lord. Okay. Now, just there, beholding, mm. beholding as a mirror. Amen. Yes. Beholding as mm. a mirror, the glory of God. Amen. The mirror is what? 
it is the word. Amen. Yes. The mirror, it is the word. Amen. The mirror is the word. The word of God, it is a mirror. Mm. It is a mirror that gives you an image of who you are. Amen. Yes. It is an image. So, what you are trying to say, you are seeing the image of yourself. Amen. You are seeing the image of yourself by the glory of God that was put inside of you. Remember from Genesis, Jesus breathed his breath in man and man became a living soul. And we say that breath was God's glory. Amen. So, it's like we are going back now to the beginning. Amen. Bible, we are going back to the beginning. So the, the other form of glory is the glory of the word of God. Amen. Yes. There's a very big revelation when mm. a mirror is uh, being you know, put in as mm. one of the things that try to explain things. Mm. You know, a mirror, a mirror you cannot tell, you cannot, it has no time. You know, what changes is what you see in there. But the mirror itself will not change whatever that is there. You find that you had no gray hair the, the time you started looking in the mirror. By the time you realize you have gray hair, but you are still looking in the same mirror. So what changes is you. So that is one of the very important things and factors we need to know about a mirror. The word of God is a mirror. You know, the Bible, it was written, you know, decades and decades ago. That's why, like the, the scripture I've read from the book of John, in the beginning, we are, we are all younger than the word. But still more today, you look at the scriptures, it talks about our present time, our present things. What happens to your life? What, is, what you are going through? It says that maybe you have not discovered it in the Bible because maybe you are not reading the Bible. Okay, every situation, there's nothing new that is upon this earth that has not never been described in the Bible. Everything is in the Bible. You see, the, the beauty with God, you know, you not like the Bible or you have difficulties to read the Bible. That's why God has given inspiration to certain people. As our pastor, pastor Zina, when they explain the word, you have the hunger to know about more of the word. That's why at the end of the day, you realize that we go in the book of Acts, we find this man who was failing to understand until someone came and asked to say, I cannot understand, I'm reading, but since to understand. Because mm. what was missing there, he never knew to say, this is a glory before me. Mm. So to come back to the word of glory, children of God don't mess with the word of God. The word of God is everything that you need on earth. And the more you read the Bible, the more you become like God. Mm. The more you read the Bible, the more, because it's a glory that is being transferred. Mm. There's impartation that takes place in the Bible. As you are reading the Bible, the glory that is behind the scriptures become to be you. One more color, the way the Bible is, you begin to manifest the actual glory of God. Mm. And this is why we say the word of glory, the word of God. The words that come from the mouth of God is glory. Amen. Yes. And you know, scripture says, you know, every word that he speaks does not return to him, minus fulfilling its purpose. Mm. When he sends forth the word, you know, a mirror does not lie. In other, in other words, if you look into the mirror, if you the mirror, if you look into the mirror, if you this is what God is saying. My words does not return void minus fulfilling his purpose. Amen. Okay. So meaning whatever that is, he sent his word to do. It is the exactly things. There's nothing that will change because mirror waikirina or it does not matter. You might be dusting your Bible every day. You might not be dusting your Bible. But what you reflect in there is the true you. Amen. So we have to understand that every time we are reading the Bible, you don't say Bible, there's glory that is being given to us. That is how impartation of glory comes in. Bible, Bible. You know, we, we have people like you know, I used to wonder to say, but where did they get this strength? People like Archbishop Benson Idahosa. May the Lord be with him. May he rest in peace. So rest in peace. Benson Idahose. These were people who brought revival in Nigeria. Amen. All these men of God that we see in Nigeria, they came from him. He's the one, Benson Idahose. Now you realize where he was getting the courage. This was a man who used to spend time throughout in the Bible. 
The man could stand in the midst of witches. He tells the witches to say, come now. If you think you are a witch, come and challenge me. But you wonder to say, but acho saku timpamvu. Acho to ita na mamfuitu kuwako nga na tibuela nga tuwo na kwa tu na mpamvu kuchila mbwezu. It is because this glory that was in the world, it became real in him. It became real in him and it can also happen to you. The more you feed on this word, the more you feed on this word, you realize to say there's nothing that can scare you. There's the, nothing that yeah. can come near you. The, the problem is we want to to use people's mirrors. Meanwhile, we have our own mirror. Mm. You can only understand things very well when you go through them yourself. Mm. Read the word on your own. Get the understanding and the revelation. The word of God is a revelation. How, how God has revealed this word to someone might not be exactly the way God has revealed it to someone. Get your own revelation sometimes. And how you get the revelation of, of, on your own. As we are teaching each other the way we are, let it stir that hunger. You, you'd want to know more. Of course, that's why we salute everyone that has gone ahead of us in preaching the word. It's very important you give respect to the people that have gone ahead of you because they've opened a revelation for you. It's only that you have to pick it from there. Tufuniko chinya mulira somewhere because kulibana chiyamba. Bajabana chiyamba wana chifixa somewhere. Pick it from there. Get a, a higher revelation from where you found it. Amen. Amen. The other scripture that you can read on the word of glory, this is number five. Yes. Yes. The word of glory is First Kings mm. chapter 19 verses 11 to 13. Tikambati, another type of glory is extracted from the word of God, which is the word. The word of God is glory. Amen. We told you to say in the beginning was glory. You know, heaven never knew that he, Heaven never knew Jesus as Jesus. They knew Jesus as the voice, which is the glory of God. Amen. But when he came on earth, that's when we knew him to be Jesus. But in heaven, they knew him to be the glory of God. Mm. The glory of God, the glory of God. And he became flesh and he manifested among us. Amen. Yes. First Kings chapter 19, verses 11. Okay, First Kings chapter, chapter 19. 19. Find the man Elijah there. Let's look. And confirm this glory that we are talking about here. It says the word of glory. The word of God, it has got glory. Okay. 19 verses 11. Though. Okay. Yes. God's revelation to Elijah. Okay. Then he said, go out and stand on the mountain before the Lord. And behold, the Lord passed by. And a great and strong wind tore into the mountains and broke the rocks in place in pieces before the Lord but the Lord was not in the wind after the wind an earthquake but the Lord was not in the in the quake and after after the earthquake a fire but the Lord was not in the fire and after the fire a still small voice so it was when Elijah heard it that he wrapped his face in his mantle and went out and stood in the entrance of the cave. And suddenly a voice came to him and said, What are you doing here, Elijah? Amen. Amen. He says there was an earthquake, there yes. was a fire, there was what? Yeah. But na none of them represented God. Mm. But what represented glory, God was a voice. A small, still voice. A small, still voice, which is the word. Amen. Yes, which is the word. What represented God was the word. Mm. That's how now the glory manifested. Not in the fire. These, these fires, these lightnings, we see them also in the book of Exodus, where we started from. Yes. We saw there was a cloud. We saw there was lightning. Pillar we see a fire. pillar of fire. Mm. All those were not the glory of God, but they were representing the glory of God. Amen. But through them, a voice was coming out. Amen. And the voice now, that is the word that we are talking about. Mm. If you read, we read, I think it should be Exodus chapter 16, where Aaron looked in the wilderness and there was a cloud. Yes. And from it came a voice. Mm. Yes, that was a representation. So the word of God carries the glory of God. We should understand that there's glory that is inside. Like Paul tells us in 2 Corinthians 3 verse 18 to say, we all with open faces behold the glass like a mirror mm. be holding like a, from glory so mm. what Paul was trying to say as we are holding the word of God we are holding the glory in Amen. our hands but like with a Bible you should always know that this is God's glory mm. and as you are reading it is transforming you from glory to, to glory Amen. from glory to glory Amen Amen 
Why is it transforming us from glory to glory? Because it is making us grow. These are instructions. Mm. Like the way you want to, you know, if you want to go into a test, you have to read. Mm. You know, there's a certain material that will make you study for an exam of such a nature. Now we are talking about an elevation. It, that is maybe going to the next grade. You need to study, read. As, as the exams are coming, the exams that we are talking about are situations. They become the exams. Amen. The more we pass through these things and we excel in them, that is how much we are promoted. And you realize to say, when you pass through, you know, uh, I, I like this, the way scripture does things. A calamity shall not arise the second time. Mm -hmm. When you pass through a problem, if it reoccurs, then there's a problem somewhere. Mm -hmm. So that is the word of glory. We could speak the whole day on the word of glory because this is a key to our Christianity. Amen. This is a key. But we'll go to another, which is number six, the type and the level of glory. Mm. The glory of creation. The glory of creation. Amen. Mm. From the book of First Corinthians chapter 15, verses 40. Mm. First Corinthians chapter 15. First Corinthians, where are you? First Corinthians chapter 15, verses, okay. yes, 40. First Corinthians chapter 15, verses 40. Okay, the Bible reads, There are also celestial bodies and tra trans translational bodies, but the glory of the celestial is one, and the glory of terrestrial is another. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, there is one glory of the sun, another glory of the moon, and another glory of the stars. For one star differs from another star in glory. Amen. Amen. Verses 40. Verses 40. Yes. So also is the trans tr resurrection of the dead. The body is sown in corruption. It is raised in incorruption. Amen. Amen. Yeah, we had to read this because some people people are scared of death. <laughs> <laughs> death is a promotion, actually. Yes. <laughs> when you die, you are promoted to another body, which is a celestial body, which is not corrupt. Mm. It is a body that has no sin, a body that is pure. So there is a resurrection. There's hope to the people that we have put to rest. We we'll still see them. One Amen. Day. Yes. Mm. So verses 40 says, there are celestial bodies, there are terrestrial bodies, but the glory of celestial is one, and the glory of terrestrial is another. Amen. There is one glory of mm. the sun and one glory. So we're looking at the glory of creation. Yes. So whatever God created, created has got glory attached Amen. to it. Amen. Chirichon say, whatever God created, it has glory attached to it because it is formed by him. And from him there's glory. So that glory remains on what he forms. Mm. So there's glory of creation, which the psalmist also talks about. Yes. The glory of creation, you find it even in trees. Sometimes, have you ever questioned yourself? Just look at the tree. Why mm. are you going to see When you begin to meditate like that, the glory of creation is what is evoking inside of Amen. you. Amen. Yes. There are some trees, when you look at them, you will start wondering to say, what happened? How would how how does a design come about? <laughs> My flowers, yakachoka, and everything like that. You know, the glory of God is in everything that He created. If you take time to look at them and meditate upon them, mm -hmm. we actually see this. So we can get it from the book of Psalms, Psalms 119. Psalms Psalms 19, verse 1 to 4. And oh, yeah. Psalms 50 also. Oh yeah. Okay. Mm. Psalms 19. Okay. David. Okay, Psalms uh, 19. Okay, quite a big book. Mm. <laughs> okay, Psalms 19. Okay. Psalms 19, verse 1 to 4. The Bible says, or the Bible reads, the heavens declare the glory of God, mm. and the feminine shows his handiwork. Mm. Day unto day utters speech, and night unto night reveals knowledge. 
There is no speech, no language where their voice is not heard. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Their line has gone out through all the earth and their words to the end of the world. In them he has set a tabernacle for the sun. Amen. Amen. It says, heavens declare the glory of God mm. throughout. So this we are talking about is the glory of creation. Whatever God, mm. it is attached to his glory. Amen. Whatever thing that God creates, it is attached to his glory because it is coming from God. Mm. That's why even us, where we are, we qualify for the glory of creation because we are created. And again, we qualify for the glory of the Spirit because we are there. Mm. Again, we qualify on the glory of man because we are there. Amen. Again, we qualify on the glory of Jesus because he's inside, in inside of us. Amen. This is what makes man special. That's why he says, why have you, what is so special about, about man? man? Yes, because that man, you pay attention uh -huh, to him. That you pay, because he qualifies to carry mm. almost all the glory of God. Amen. But some other creation may not carry the other glory of mm. creation. I, I, I know from uh, the beginning when God created things. Mm. That's why it's something that you need to think about when you call someone ugly or not beautiful. Mm. You know, it is a word that is contrary to what God said when he created everything. He said everything was beautiful that he created. And God said that all that created was, was good. beautiful. Yes. Mm. <laughs> you know, and then you, you come, you oppose that word. Mm. Oh my God. And this is what the scripture is saying. The heavens declare the glory of God. You know, the book of Genesis is saying, whatever God created, he took time. Mm. He looked at it and said, everything was good. And to, and to somebody who feels he's not nice, he's not handsome, he's not beautiful, all I can tell you is that read the word of God. Amen. As much as you are reading, you never feel about that thing because glory is beauty. Amen. So the more you are reading the word of God, you never feel. In fact, you feel more beautiful than anybody else because mm. of the glory of Amen. God. Amen. The world will tell you to say, beauty mm. lies in the hands of the beholder. Mm. Don't be deceived. Go in the Bible. Listen mm. to what God said. Because he's the one who created you. He said everything he created. And, he said, and the Bible says he took time and looked at everything that he created. And then someone is saying, you are not beautiful, you are ugly. Mm -hmm. The devil works through people. It might be the devil that is talking through that person. Don't mind such people. My brother, my sister, this should be enough to make you move to the next level. And let that glory shine in you. Amen. Amen. So the glory of creation, that is number six. Mm -hmm. Number seven. The last type and the category of glory that we we'll talk about finishing from where we started on number one. Mm. Number five, we go to the book of Acts chapter 7 verses 55. Mm. Acts chapter 7 verses 55. This is the last type of glory among the categories yeah. that we managed to gather. Acts chapter 7 verses 55. Chapter 7, verses 55. Okay, 55. Okay, mm. the Bible reads. In fact, let's start from 54. 54, yeah, mm. yeah, where Stephen is. When they heard these things, they were cut to the heart, and they garnished at him with their teeth. But he, being full of the Holy Spirit, gazed into heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God and said, Look, I see the heavens open and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. Then they cried out with a loud voice, stopped their ears and ran at him with one accord. And they cast him out of the city and stoned him. And the witnesses laid down their clothes at the feet of the young man named Saul. Saul. Or no? Yes. <laughs> Saul. <laughs> Abaya. <laughs> oh my God. This is the same Paul that we see writing, but at this moment he killed. 
he killed at this moment. Yes. He was part of the people mm. that were killing. That's why at the end of the day, don't feel guilt of anything that you ever did. Mm. When you come to God, you are a new creation. Amen. Paul forgot about all these things mm. when he, he, he got born again, when he was transformed. But what glory are we looking at here? This was Stephen. He saw the glory of God. Amen. And even when we are beating him, mm. because what he saw was, was, yes. was greater. And Amen. he ends. He end. To me, I think I feel he chose to die. Amen. With me, I think he chose to die because if he wanted, he would have run he, away. He would have run away, or he would have, he would have resisted. Amen. But what he saw, he, he was made to want to go, Amen. and he was taken. That's how Stephen died when they were stoning him. So, what is this glory that we are talking about? We see also it in Exodus chapter sixteen, verses ten. I think this is one of the glory that is most talked about. Mm. I think it can be it in my camber. And this is a glory that we don't just speak, but we feel it. Amen. Exodus chapter 16, verses 10. 16, 10. Mm. I think it's some time back, but na foot it's a foot. Exodus chapter 16, verse 10. The Bible reads, Now it came to pass, as Aaron spoke to the whole congregation of the children of Israel, that they looked towards the wilderness, and behold, the glory of the Lord appeared in the cloud. Amen. Amen. The glory of God appeared in the cloud. Amen. So the the last type of glory and the category of glory that we are talking about is the glory of God as a spiritual substance. Amen. As a spiritual substance, but as a spiritual substance, this is where now the invisible becomes visible. Mm, where you see, yeah. so that if you don't believe, mm -hmm. you can see things happening. Those are some of the things that we talk about when we say. Uh, this will happen because some people are lacking faith. Mm. God will make it happen that they are able to see. I, I remember, was it last week when we were praying? Mm. I remember I said the rains, mm. you know, the rains are coming, the rains of abundance. Mm. I was surprised. I had to go to Magoy. There were showers there of mm. rains. So I'm sure someone was doubting within that same area. So God had to make it happen. Amen. Amen. So the substance glory substance glory it is a substance mm. like Hebrews chapter 11 I think we can read Hebrews yes. chapter 11 verse 1 mm. the substance glory but substance you don't just speak to some this is what they call Shakaina glory yes glory substance glory it is seen sometimes it could be through healing sometimes it could be through deliverance when the glory appears there will be a serious evidence to see that this is god's glory mm. there'll be a serious evidence hebrews chapter 11 verses 1. okay now faith is the substance of things hoped for. amen just that the substance yes <laughs> <laughs> yes now faith is a substance so the glory of god as a substance it is not just something that we speak, no. Mm. It is a substance that God brings to, ex to an existence that you may believe you, mm. uh, that you may believe, and it, it can no longer be held in the invisible world. It becomes real now. Amen. This, this is where now many people misuse the demonstration of God's power. Amen. And others use demonstration, but... Uh, we don't know the source of their powers, Amen. yes, but we are not to judge. God is a judge. But at the end of the day, you wonder to say, but uh, they are not telling with this person and how glory is manifesting Amen. in this. Because the Bible says you shall know them by their fruits. Their fruits yes. yes. So at the end of the day, substance glory, pimples. And through prayer, those pimples disappear. Amen. It's very possible. Mm. It's very possible. We have seen the deaf. We have seen the blind. The mm. eyes are closed. And while you pray, the eyes open. Now you see the glory Amen. as substance. Amen. It comes now as substance, not just by word, but as substance glory. You know, that comes in mm. in a lot of dimensions. Sometimes God will make that happen for people who do not believe, so that they can believe to say he exists and his power you know, is alive, is there, and he can manifest. You know, to some, it is just to strengthen them. You know, there's that morale that you get. But to some, it's for the carnally-minded people. 
you know, this is what, uh, you know, confuses people. You look at someone's lifestyle and what manifests when they do what they do. Mm. They are trying to get your mind to believe whatever is happening. You know, it, it reminds me of uh, John, where we came from, the word. That's yeah. why we could have spent much time on the word. <laughs> on the word. I love the word <laughs> of God, yeah. Yeah, you know, the Bible tells us to say heaven and earth shall pass away. Mm. But his word, his word. In mm. other ways, what... The Bible says uh, everything else may perish, but his glory can never. Because it is something that is coming from the, the world that has got no limit. Amen. Yeah. The, the infinity world. So, heaven and earth shall pass away, but his word. In other words, what God was trying to say, it will remain, which is the glory of God. And at the end of the day, it takes us back to the work of God. It takes me back to the work of God because God has apportioned some apostles, some prophets, some teachers, some evangelists, mm -hmm. according to Ephesians chapter 6. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Verses uh, 12, 10 going down there. Yes. But one thing we have to understand that those offices are temporal. A time comes when you no longer function in them. The only Amen. way the only way you function is the glory. Amen. Yes, they, only, they are temporal because they, there's no office in heaven. Mm. In heaven, there's just the glory. Amen. Where God is, there's just the glory. Mm. And that's why at the end of the day, the desire should be functioning much in the glory of God than limiting yourself in any area. Don't limit yourself. Just cry for God's glory. And this glory is not limited for one person, no. Mm. It is not limited for any person. It's for everyone. It is for every child of God. John, the same John chapter 1, as you go down, you say, as many received him, to ye gave ye power to Amen. become sons of God. They are, he was talking about the glory of God. That in the beginning was the glory, and the glory was with God, and the glory was God. That's Amen. why we say Jesus, God, can never be separated mm. because he is an offspring of God, which is the glory of God. Amen. And in the beginning was the word, Quenda Pansi Kambas, as many received him, to ye he, be, he became children of God. Mm. And to it means as many received him, they qualified to operate in the glory, in the glory of, of God. God. Amen. It means we qualify to operate in the glory of God. Mm. When we have God, when we have Jesus, it means we qualify to operate in the glory of God. And we are coming to the end of that program, our program, and that is the moment that we give an opportunity every day that everyone should be part and parcel of this glory that we are talking about. It is not just limited to one person. That's why Jesus died on the cross, that he may replicate himself to everyone, mm. to every believer, to everyone who reads the Bible. Bible. Mm. And this is where now we are coming to that program where we allow him to be part of us, that his glory becomes part of us, that we may function as him, as the Father gave to him. Amen. Mm. So this is an opportunity to everyone that is under the influence of this broadcast as we speak right now. Mm -hmm. Much has been preached. The word has been preached. Like we said, the word has the potential of bringing Christ in you and making him grow in you and create in, in you this glory that we are talking about, the glory of God. Because Jesus himself carries the glory of the Father and that's why he says, when you see him, it's as good as you've seen God himself. So it's as good as having God with you if you receive Jesus. So today, my brother, my sister, I'm inviting you. If you've never tried Jesus, I'll tell you, just try it, then you see. If it won't work for you, well, you can still back out. But I'll tell you one thing, we've never regretted any moment with God. Amen. And this is the opportunity that we are giving right now. And just follow through the prayer of salvation. If you are rededicating yourself, you feel you've lost connection with God himself. Through this voice, we can reconnect you back to the living God. The things that you used to do, you can still do them. Because the glory of God is still available and is free for everyone. Freely we are given, freely we are giving it away. Amen. It is a present that only requires your hands to be open and your heart to be open to receive. So right now, if you are that person, I invite you right now in the name of Jesus. Just follow through and say, Lord Jesus, 
Lord Jesus. I want to say thank you, Lord. I say thank you, Lord. For the present, Lord. For the present of your word, Lord. Of your word. Lord. Father, I humbly receive it. Father, I humbly receive I it. I open my heart, Lord. I open my heart. May you pour in me, Lord. May you pour in me. Your spirit, Lord. Your spirit. Lord. I come before you, Lord. I come before as you. An as an empty vessel indeed. As an empty vessel. Lord, fill me. Lord, fill me. With your spirit, Lord. With your spirit, Lord. I come, Heavenly Father. I come, Heavenly Father. Full of Father. darkness, Heavenly Father. Full of darkness. Shine Father. your light upon me, Lord. Shine your light upon Father, me. Father, today, today I, acknowledge I acknowledge that I'm a sinner, that I'm a sinner. And, I know and I know that you came to die for sinners, you came to die for and sinners. I'm one of those sinners, Lord. I'm one of those sinners. But, today, Lord. but today, Lord, I give my life unto you. I give my life unto come you. and take care of everything about me, Lord. Come and take care of everything about me. Be my Lord and personal Savior. Be my Lord and personal Savior. Write my name, Write my in, name. The book of life. in the book of life. Thank you, Lord Jesus, Thank you, Lord for, answering Jesus. My prayer. for answering in my prayer. In Jesus' name. mighty name, we pray amen and amen amen we are coming to the end of the show we are coming to the end of our morning devotion but we always pray together the bible says share the burdens one another and the bible encourages us to say one chases away a thousand and two ten thousand mm -hmm. now we are here as brothers as prayer partners in christ that we may chase Oh, that is bothering you. That we may stand in agreement with your faith. Na tuzumi hane mumuya, tuzumi tuvomekezane muzimu, kuti vevi chaya na umoyo wanu, tichane pamozi. And oh, that is required is faith. Amen. God does not want anything from Thank anybody you, except faith. If he says without faith, it is impossible to please God. According to Hebrews chapter 12 verse 6, without faith, it is impossible. The only way you can please God is show him your faith. Thank you, Lord. Show him your faith. And once your faith is proven, he will be able to do that which you are believing in for. Exceedingly abundantly, above all you can imagine. Are you believing God for a healing right Father, now? in the name of it Jesus. It is just your faith. Are you believing God for a turnaround? It is just your faith. Are you believing for God to bring about peace that you've been seeking for? It is just your faith. Shall we just pray together? Distance has never been Thank a barrier. Thank you, Lord. Father, we want to thank you. Lord, we want to glorify your name, Lord. Lord, we return the glory we unto you. We exalt your name, everlasting Lord. We bless your name, King of glory. How good, Heavenly Father, your name is. For and Lord. How powerful indeed your name is. You are the Messiah that lived and shall forever live. Father, you are the beginning and the end. You are the King of kings. Father, arise. The Alpha and the Omega. Father, do a new thing like you always do. Lord, as we have taught about your glory. Your word has been sent, Lord. Father, as we have taught about your glory. Father, your word has been preached, Lord. Master Divine, confirm your word. Father, every ear, Lord, that is tuned to this program Confirm in the name of Jesus. Confirm your word, Jehovah Lord. God, right now in the name Let of Jesus. Let the word, Heavenly Father of your glory, begin to wake upon their life, Lord. Touch, Jehovah God, the listeners in the name of Jesus. Father, every sickness in the name of Jesus. Touch, Lord, the listeners right now. Every hand of the enemy, Lord. Whatever pain that is in the body right Even now. Even as your glory is descending, Lord. Whatever condition they are in right now. Father, let them behold your glory, Lord. Nothing stands your glory, Jehovah Father, God. let them mirror heavenly Father shine in their eyes so that they can see your glory. No disease stands your glory, Jehovah Father, God. Father, in the name of Jesus. No situation stands your glory right that now. That disease, Master. heavenly Father of the blood, in the name of Jesus. Guess it, Jehovah God. That let your back hand. pain, in the name of Jesus. Guess it, Master Divine. That right headache, in the name of Jesus. Lord, let there be healing, Jehovah That right God. hand, in the name of Jesus. Send your healing. Healing power I right now. Cast your pen on the leg in the name of Send Jesus. Send your healing power, Jehovah God. Father, let your power begin to move, Lord. Let your glory descend, Jehovah let God. Let your healing power, Lord, begin to move. Let your glory descend in that house, Father, Jehovah let God. your glory overfill and overflow that house let in the name of Jesus. Let your glory descend in that marriage, in that family, Jehovah God. Let your Father, glory Father, whatever shine. storm, Heavenly Father, may they meet your glory in it the name of Jesus. It is written, Lord, in the book of Isaiah, arise and shine, Lord, for the glory has risen. Father, right may you now, arise Lord. for your children in the name of Jesus. Arise, Jehovah God, for the glory has risen, Lord. We have Lord, taught about this using glory. Using their faith, Lord, may you connect them, Lord. Arise, Jehovah God. Thank you, Lord. Arise, Master Father, Divine. in the name of Jesus. Arise, Jehovah God. Every darkness in the arise, name of Jesus. Arise, Jehovah God. Every pupil, Lord. Every Let student, your light Lord. Come upon them arise in the name upon of Jesus. them, Jehovah God. Restore their minds in the name of Jesus. And every person that is seeking for a job, arise upon their career, Jehovah Father, God. Father, you are the one who controls the hearts of man, if Lord. If the time is right, Master Divine, arise. 
Father, may you control the heart of the Father of the employers in the name of Jesus. Whatever that is standing their way, arise, Jehovah Father, God. you know your own, Lord. As you went before Moses, Jehovah God, go before every one of us that is listening Thank to your you, voice. Thank you, Lord. Right we do not want to go on our own, Lord. Go before us, Lord. Everyone that is listening to your voice right now, Every go before us. Every valley, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Wherever we go, exalted, Lord, we shall Lord. be guided by you, Jehovah God. Every mountain and every hill, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Go, Jehovah God, wherever we have not gone before. Be leveled in going. the name of Jesus. Be with us in everything that we do, Jehovah God. And every spirit that is exalting itself above this word that was taught today, Lord cast it down. We bring it to subjection, Heavenly Father, unto your word in the name of Jesus. For the mention of the name Jesus, every knee must bow. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, whatever condition that is upon anybody listening, Lord, Father, let in it the bow in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Whatever spirits that are behind it, Jehovah God, let it bow in the name of Jesus. Father, we bless your name. Save your children, Lord. Save Thank their you, soul. Lord. Thank Father, you, Master protect Divine. Protect everyone on the road in the name of Jesus. For where the Spirit of the Lord is, Lord, there's liberty and freedom. Command a blessing, Lord. Let the freedom of God be with us in everything. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Master Divine. In Jesus' glorious name we pray. Amen. Amen and amen. Oh, 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 oh,